Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just, you know, just thank you. You know, y'all show me support. You know, y'all ask me questions. And just keep me on my toes. Just let me know that I'm doing you know a good job and i'm so blessed to be able to keep continuing to do this you know and keep supporting each other and what as we heal we let go of things we're recognizing we're just educating ourselves this is a beautiful thing because it's like we're heading towards graduation day you know that's that's a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as, much as you get to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or the content in my video. Or you're just up and telling me about your empathic your gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video is just gave you good vibes or, you know, just gave you some good understanding or just gave you some good entertainment that you would love to share with someone, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like it, even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me so much love and support. And, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And the beautiful meditation music I'm listening to. Is forest healing music, meditation music, sleep music, calming, soothing, relaxing music, zen mindfulness. And I will post that link in the description box below. It is. It's very comforting. It makes me feel like, you know, you got to get one of those, you know, really heavy blankets that is real soft. I forgot what those kind of blankets are. You can get them. I know my friends used to get them from Korea all the time when our parents used to be stationed over there. And I would just, I, I wanted a panda one or a dolphin one. But I haven't got one. But I always wanted one of those because they were big and, you know, I always stay cold all the time, so I needed something like that. But anyway, my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Empaths. You, um, Empaths, you, you deserve more than what you are getting. Blessings are on the way. And they are. You know, we, we... We can go through so much stuff, and I mean, I'm just like, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, just going through different changes, you know, and it's just like, um, it could be you got bills are higher than what you're getting paid, or you got you got money enough to pay your bills, but it's just, it ain't enough to do anything else. It's, you know, it's always something that we're going through. Always some kind of changes. We can have crappy jobs. Or, you know, having issues with our cars, you know, the appliances breaking down is always something. Kids working on your nerves. You know, you're just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. It's always something. So it's just like when we're always pushing out, you know, love and light. And you're, you're pushing out positive things. And you might not see it. And, you know, and I, I tell y'all this because I struggle with it every day. I tell y'all, I struggle with stuff like this every day. And it, it's just like when I go through it, and I get so frustrated when I go through stuff like this. And it, it's just, it can be crazy at times. It can really be, be really crazy at times. And it's like, you know, when is enough going to be enough? You know, and it's like when I do the things that I do, it's not you know, for selfish reasons, it's for, you know, just to feel good about yourself, I feel like when I'm able to contribute towards making somebody's life better, I mean, that's a blessing to me, and it's not like, okay, I did this for you, so what do you got for me, no, because I feel like that is my blessing, to be able to put joy in somebody's face, especially when I feel so much hate sometimes that come towards me, but it, 
I get my peace of mind through my visions and the things that I see myself doing. Um, and I, I get peace of mind through the comments and the videos that I make. And I know that it's going to bring me towards something that is very great, very amazing. And you're going through the same thing too. You know, we get, we go through things. You have to laugh to keep from crying sometimes. <laughs> we have to do that. We truly have to do that because it's like, you know, you're going through things and you know, you keep hearing the universe tell you things are going to get better for you. Things are going to get better for you. You know, um, you just have to be patient. You have to have that faith that, you know, um, that things are going to go good for you. And it's just like when I was younger, my mom used to tell me back before she had passed away. And it's just like I will go through things one after another. And she said, Rosalyn, you have to have faith. You know, when you don't have faith, that's when things happen. And she was not lying. Mom, you know, and your mom, you, you hate for your parents to be right about some things. And that was it. And you know, obviously, I must have been telling the truth. Do you see my light <laughs> flicker when I said that? Because this house is raining outside. So it's been real relaxing. And, you know, it's been one of them days. But yeah, when we go through things, you know, you just need to uplift yourself. Because I truly needed that. And my friend, she know who she is. You know, you definitely did that for me today. So thank you so much for being there and just listening. You know, because it's just like when you can actually have somebody that you can trust, that you can open up to, because it's just like when my situation is so sensitive, it's kind of hard to do that. Because usually when I have, you know, just open myself up, you know, I was judged, you know, I was made fun of, you know, people didn't believe me. And, you know, or they actually had, I actually had people that truly did believe me, they can relate. And it was just like mind blowing to them that this this has happened, and especially mind blowing to them about who who the person is. But you know, there's always a reason for, behind things, and I I tell my myself that you know, Lord, for the things that I'm going through, I know you must got something good for me. Ooh, Jesus, thank you. <laughs> I'm just like because I'm going through too much hell. But you know, I have to. I have to constantly remind myself, look how good you're doing on your channel. Look how people are being more open and want, feel comfortable enough to ask you, you know, about things that you went through that, you know, maybe or, met, you know, you may have experienced. And I mean, I have to really think about those things. It's just like, because we have a bad habit, you know, especially if you've been going through, you know, negative situations for so long and you want to break that cycle, you know, because sometimes you can be in a situation where you're around people and it's hard to break that, especially if that's the energy that they give off. Or you could be grieving at the time and, and it doesn't have to really be death. It can be a relationship, grieving of, you know, financial troubles, just grieving at anything that just brings you sadness. So it's just like when we're going through all these things, we have to keep reminding ourselves, you know, better days are coming. You know, it's just like when we get closer to our blessings and when we start feeling more comfortable, more comfortable about ourselves and more confident that we will succeed on things, especially when we're heading towards our dreams that we really truly want. Darkness will step in real quick. I, Y'all know I just made a video about that the other day. Hell, hell is busy devil is busy you know i'm not trying to get at that that that, that thing or you know something to do but it's just like he's really busy because it's just like you know i'm heading towards you know doing something really big and really positive for a lot of people and you know darkness doesn't want to see that happen you know they like to see chaos they like to see people at the, at their throats people hating one another for for the color of their skin and their nationality. I want, you know, when you come to my channel, I want people not to see color, not to see that. It's just us seeing each other as individuals. They're sharing the same experiences that are just in different situations. So when we can open ourselves up to know that, you know, even though we're going through really dark times right now, you know it doesn't always stay that way all the time even though you've probably been experiencing that for a long time <clears throat> it's just basically how you have looked at the situation 
because <clears throat> I know there had to be some kind of good and situations. But even though there, you know, there is some incidents where I've heard some, you know, some stories where there was no good in there. But I'm not talking about those, you know. But I'm just talking about like, you know, at a long period of time, like I can't just dwell on all the abuse that I had because I even I've had, you know, some genuine good times. You know, I couldn't validate the ones that weren't genuine because they were they weren't genuine but the ones that I did you know those are the ones that I'm grateful for so you know I it's just that you have to it's just your way of thinking about things especially it's hard when you you when it rains it pours and it's probably having hurricane whatever 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 going on in your situation where it's hard to really see that light we, that's when we have to dive deep and look within ourselves and know, you know, hey, <clears throat> you're going to make it through this. You know, you have been through so many things before and felt like you weren't going to get through it. And you got through that, too. You know, there's times that, you know, you probably cried to the point where you had headaches or cried to your eyes swell shut. I've done that you know, question, you know, why do things like this happen to a person like me? You know, I know I've had my faults, but I know I can be a good person. You know, why do I go out my way to help people and they step on me in return? But then you have the blessings, you know, you can't, we, we have to use those as tools. We have to use that as milestones. And I have to tell myself that use that passion, use that anger that you have and turn it into something that, you know, it can voice out something positive, not just to sit here and complain about the same situation over and over again, because complaining about it ain't going to do anything. But when you can try to solve a problem to the situation, it's just like, yeah, I'm currently going through this, but look at how much positive you know, a positive outcome I'm having from the negative situation I'm doing, not to voice it as being negative, but just to say, hey, this negative situation is going on, but look, if you look at it a different way and try to put yourself in, okay, this is training for me, this is like, even though this is a effed up situation I'm going through, what are the things that I'm learning from this situation? What did I? What can I take out of this that I know I might be able to use later? I mean, we really have to break ourselves down that like that. But not when you're going through emotions. You gotta wait until you calm down. <laughs> Cause it's never good to sit up here and make any kind of decisions when you are emotional. Because we end up making some really not so smart ones. So I hope this was able to help you out, you know, knowing blessings are coming your way. Even though you might feel like you're not getting what you truly deserve, know it is on this way. So like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, share on your social media favorites, and, you know, just send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And knowing that I'm sending you much love and light as well in return with abundance and prosperity in it anybody needs some healing vibes i'm sending those as well so i hope you stay blessed stay prosperous know that there you are blessed and you are truly loved and you know you're highly favored and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days now i will see you on my next video peace and be wow